Huawei, Xiaomi, Apple. We keep hearing these names frequently, definitely in the smartphone space, but now increasingly in the car industry as well. In fact, Xiaomi and Huawei have already launched their respective cars, while Apple remains in the loop to do so. But we all know how Apple likes to take their sweet time before launching a new product, especially something they are not known for. Enough about that though, let's discuss in this video today whether cars made by smartphone manufacturers are actually a good idea. Can they even make good cars to begin with? Or is this all a metaverse-inspired billion-dollar facade that will fade away with time? Xiaomi is perhaps the most forward in the race to the market, but Huawei is a close second, both having launched their respective cars in China so far. Although for these cars to come to the United States would take quite some time, it would be a good test for their reliability and strength to be proven before they do so. Xiaomi particularly, the Chinese tech giant has already launched its first electric vehicle and is aggressively expanding its automotive division. Known for their affordable yet feature-rich smartphones, they made a bold entry into the electric vehicle market. Their flagship model, the Xiaomi SU7, is poised to be a significant contender, and it is definitely more than that. It comes with a few killer features such as 0 to 100 in 5.2 seconds for the base model and 2.8 seconds for the max model. It has a crazy 800 kilometers of driving chain and can charge from 20 to 80% in just 30 minutes on the fast charger. Xiaomi sold 7,058 SU7s in April, its first full monthly sale since the model was in late March, and it is more than 100,000 deliveries this year, which would correspond to monthly average sales of 11,618 units for the remainder of the year. It's safe to say that Xiaomi is rocking the booming space for electric and hybrid cars within China, and there are absolutely no doubts about that. Once Xiaomi goes global with their cars, it will be intriguing to see how things work out for them and how reliable their cars actually are. For now, they are making beautiful cars with a great set of features. Lastly, when it comes to the Chinese tech giant, it is important to understand that this is their first flirting with automobiles, but if there's anything to know about Xiaomi, they will get anywhere and make everything and succeed at it making above average products. So it would be safe to say that Xiaomi is here to stay when it comes to making cars, and for now it seems like they are focused on electric vehicles. When it comes to Huawei though, they have taken a different approach towards making cars. Huawei's automotive business, called Intelligent Automotive Solutions Business Unit, has three main business models when it comes to working with other car companies. The standard parts supply model, under which Huawei works with many car companies. The Huawei Inside model, in which Huawei provides full stack solutions. Jixuan model, in which Huawei helps automakers with product definition and design and provides a complete system including retail, marketing, and quality management. What this means is that Huawei is not manufacturing cars themselves, but instead they are partnering with other automobile manufacturers to enhance their cars using Huawei's tech. This brings Aberad autonomous driving and other technologies on board to create something extraordinary. Huawei, like Xiaomi, has had a great start with cars as well. Huawei's automotive business has already turned profitable in the first quarter of the year, an executive said with the asset light operating model bringing help. There are currently four major automakers working with Huawei under the Jixuan Model Series Group, Sherry, Beijing Automotive Group, also known as Bayek, and Enhui Jianghuai Automobile Group, also known as Jack. Huawei and Sears have jointly launched the Ato brand with models currently on sale including the M5, M7 and M9, covering extended range electric vehicle Arab and battery electric vehicle BEV models. Huawei's joint brand with Cherry is Luxeed, with only the Luxeed S7 sedan currently on sale. The tech giant's joint brand with Bayek is Stellato. Its co-brand with JC, which is yet to be announced, will target the market with a price tag in the RMB $1,138,000 market. Huawei's joint brand with JC is aimed at the ultra-premium market, the Stellato at the premium sedan market, the Luxeed at the mid-range and mid-premium markets, and the Ito focuses primarily on SUVs, said in the interview. And who can forget America and how they have recently imposed sanctions and taxes on Chinese cars? Without the US market, it's tough to really make a mark. This has significantly impacted the global ambitions of Chinese automakers, including Xiaomi and Huawei. While they're making impressive strides in their home market and other regions, the absence of the world's largest automotive market is a considerable hurdle. It remains to be seen how these companies will navigate these challenges and whether they can find alternative routes to global dominance. All of this makes me say with affirmation that both Huawei and Xiaomi are here to stay in the automobile business. They want to make cars that are full of the latest tech and create their own places in the market, although the business models are very different from each other. So can smartphone makers really make good cars? The evidence so far suggests a resounding maybe. Xiaomi and Huawei, two tech titans in their own right, have certainly made impressive strides. Xiaomi's SU7 is a showcase of electric vehicle potential, while Huawei's strategic partnerships are reshaping the automotive landscape. But let's not get carried away. The automotive industry is a beast of its own, 
it demands a different level of engineering, safety standards, and customer expectations. While Xiaomi and Huawei have demonstrated their technological prowess, the true test lies in long-term reliability, after sales service, and most importantly, customer satisfaction. And then there's Apple, the silent giant poised to enter the fray. Their track record for innovation and user experience is unparalleled. If they can translate that magic to the automotive world, we could be in for a revolution. Ultimately, the jury is still out. The coming years will be a thrilling battleground as these tech giants vie for dominance in the automotive space. One thing's for sure, the future of driving is set to be electric, intelligent, and hopefully a whole lot of fun. Stay tuned for more updates as this story unfolds. Dot.